When I'm looking for a beautiful and easy to make sandwich, I turn to my chicken salad stuffed pitas. These are simple, they're easy, and you're going to make it with some great supermarket shortcuts. Now, the first thing you're going to do is head to the supermarket and grab a rotisserie chicken. I usually buy a couple of these each week because so many of the recipes that I make call for the chicken that I pull from the rotisserie. It's already beautifully seasoned, it's already cooked. You can just park those in the fridge and they're easy to work with. But the first thing we're going to do is scoop out our avocado. Now, we've already sliced it, pitted it, and scored it. This is how you're going to get all that beautiful avocado out of the skin. But you don't want to mash it. We want to leave this in chunks, and then we're going to show you how we're going to keep it from turning brown. So first, I'm going to go in and simply scoop this out of the skin and leave that in chunks. I don't want to mash that and get it too creamy because I want a little bit of the texture in the salad. So then we'll pop that in. Now, here's a little trick to make sure that your avocado doesn't turn brown. Once it's exposed to oxygen, it can begin to oxidize. That's the fancy word for it. But if you put some citrus on top and just give it a light toss, it'll keep that avocado from turning brown. It'll maintain that beautiful green color, and it'll look great in the sandwich. Now, we've already pulled the chicken from the rotisserie, and this is so easy. Just discard the bones and skin and pull all that delicious seasoned cooked meat. It's so simple and so easy. So we're going to get this into the bowl. All of that chicken already shredded. It'll be easy to incorporate. Now, we've also diced up a beautiful red onion, which will add some sweetness and some crunch. Then a little salt and pepper. There we are. And then here's another great supermarket shortcut. This is the ranch dressing. Now, this is something really nice. If you prefer blue cheese or some other type of Caesar dressing, you could certainly do that. But I find that the ranch really adds a nice zip, a nice flavor, a nice familiar flavor to this sandwich. Now, once we get all that inside, I'll straighten up my bowls and then just give this an even mix. You're really folding all the ingredients into the dressing to make it creamy and delightful. So now the chicken salad mixture is done, and we're going to begin to assemble the pita pockets. Now buy yourself some pitas and cut them in half. You'll have this little half moon shape, and it forms a beautiful little pocket. You'll get in here with your fingers, and you'll separate it. Do this delicately, because pita bread is certainly not very thick, and you want to make sure that you don't make any holes. I'm going to take some sliced tomato. This is going to make it look really pretty and perfect for spring, summer. And then we're going to put in some chopped lettuce. Chop your lettuce nice and small and make a little bed for the salad, which is nice. And now comes the chicken salad mixture. We've got it in our lock and lock container, so that's always a nice way to store the extra. And be generous with a nice big dollop of your salad. And this is such a perfect sandwich. When you want just a little light lunch, or you want to pair this with soup, it's really great for all of that. Make sure that tomato is nice and present. And then you're ready with a perfect sandwich that was easy to assemble. And if there are leftovers, just pop those in the fridge. They're even better the next day.